Matt, first of all, how much are the squad looking forward to getting back into league action this weekend? Yeah, very much so. Um, on the back of a good performance, Tuesday night and a good second half last weekend. Um, looking forward to get back to League Two football. Um, obviously, Northampton coming in good form on a good, good run of results themselves. Um, but we're looking for performance this weekend. Um, like I say, taking the positives out of the, the last one and a half performances and, and flying out the game Saturday. Gio, of course, came played 60 minutes on Tuesday against Bristol Rovers. Has he come through that match OK? Yeah, relatively unscathed. You know, like I said, he was probably a little bit rusty in the first period, especially. Um, and he, ne he needed that, that hour's football in his system to, to make him available for the weekend. We've got bodies starting to come back and then the squad's looking a little bit stronger. So, like I said, we're, we're looking forward to this weekend. Uh, because you mentioned uh, after the Blackpool game, the time you struggled to get players to take the ball hard the pitch. And I suppose Chio can do that. Yeah, definitely. Look, he's got the, got the raw physical attributes which you want from any attacking wide player. Um, he's, he's one of the quickest players I've seen. Um, but he needs end product as well. So you, know, you saw that in, in fits and starts on, on Tuesday night. Um, we probably saw a little bit of it before he got injured in terms of his original loan spell. And, and we'll be looking for more of the same. And he's got to come and make an impact. Simple as that. Um, like he did when he first came in on loan. He's got to make a positive impact in terms of taking the ball high up the pitch and creating opportunities. He's, he's an honest lad in terms of his work rate and commitment. So I've, I've got no worries putting him in at any stage. And will the performance on Tuesday night give the side a bit more confidence considering the clean sheet as well? Yeah, I think so. I think it was a, a you know a different type of performance in terms of we, we had to be patient out of possession in the first half and wait for opportunities. And then we just got better field position in the second half, played a little bit more direct into the front boys and got value out of our attacking players. And all of a sudden we, we earned the right to pass it and high up the pitch off the back of doing the basics well. So that's what we're looking for. You always you aim to start at any game in terms of getting a clean sheet, that's the first and foremost our aim. And that's, that's going to be the same this weekend, but we need, we need a positive start and something to, to grab hold of and, and to lift the fans and get us into the game. And it is Northampton on Saturday aside, who seems to have some momentum behind them. What do you make of them? Good team. You know, we, we watched them several times before the, the original manager left and they had the players there. You know, it was, it was clear clear to when we watched them that they had the players there, they just didn't have a real structure to play off. And obviously, Keith Curl's gone in there and, and give them a structure. Um, it won't be too dissimilar to the, the Carlisle teams of the past. You know, you look at managers from, from previous clubs. So we, we, we've got an idea of what to expect. Um, watch them against Lincoln and Croom. Like I said, they're a good team and a good runner form. But we're not a bad team ourselves. You know, we picked up a couple of disappointing results, but we're looking to bounce back this weekend. You mentioned Keith Curl there. You often say as Carlisle side up to be solid and hard to beat. Are you expecting the same again? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, but you know, you, you've, got, you've got good players there, um, as have we. So I'm, I'm expecting a, a high quality League Two game of football from this weekend. And the City Sports great a lot of noise particularly in that second half against Blackpool we need them just the same again won't we? Yeah definitely we, we had the momentum it was positive um, you just felt if the game went on any longer it was going to be us who was going to score so like I said that's why we were so disappointed to concede three quick goals you know you concede one give yourself a chance concede two then you, you've got half a chance of getting back in the game but the third one's a real killer blow and like I say it happens very rarely in football where you get back from 3 down at half time but like I say if that game had gone on any longer it was us, us on the front foot and we were creating opportunities so that, that was a pleasing thing like I say the whole 90 minutes are never going to be the same um, but that's what we're aiming to do.